guys, welcome back. This tutorial is going to show you how to look like you just face planted on a pile of seashells. So, I'm starting this tutorial off with no makeup to show off all my acne. I'm kidding. Uh, so, I'm putting my hair up to keep it out of my face while I do the look. Next, I'm priming my entire face with, technically the only real makeup I'm doing is on my eyes, but I'm still priming my entire face because I'm going to be putting wax and alcohol, paints and stuff, all that stuff on it. Next, I'm priming my eyes with the Lemonade Eye Primer, and I'm putting that all over the lid and underneath my eyes to even out the tone. Next, taking this massive eyeshadow palette, I'm taking a light blue color and like a flattish fluffy brush and I'm putting that all over my eyelid. Next I'm taking these two darker blue colors and I'm mixing them on the same brush and I'm putting them on the outer corner of my eye. I'm gonna try and form like a blue smoky eye here. And then on the other side of that brush, there's a fluffier side, and I'm just using that to blend it out. Next, I'm taking this turquoise transition, oh my god, transition shade. And I'm putting that next to the dark blue to blend it out some more. Next, I'm taking the lighter blue turquoise color and I'm just putting that next to the color that I previously put down. Next, I'm taking the silver and putting that on the very inner corner of my eye. After I do that, I'm taking this tan, tannish brown color and I'm just putting that um, on my brow bone, kind of. Next, I'm lining the upper waterline of my eyeball. I'm taking some mascara and I'm just putting like a base layer of mascara down because I'm gonna put fake ones on later. After that, I'm taking a white eyeliner pencil and I'm putting that on the lower waterline. Next, I'm gluing my eyelashes on. And let me just tell you, this took so many practice tries. But I made it look decently easy here. But I practiced for several days prior to this video. <laughs> Anyways, I'm taking two concealers because they match my skin tone when I mix them, and I'm just putting them underneath my eyes to hide my bags. And I'm blending them out with the beauty blender. Now I'm just taking some translucent powder and I'm powdering that to get rid of the greasy looking shine. Now for the fun part. I had already figured out where I wanted the seashells before I did this, but I'm just tracing the seashells on my forehead, wherever I want them really, um, with a black pencil just so I know for sure where to glue them. Next, I'm gonna glue them on with some spirit gum. I'm gonna put it around the outline I drew and on the seashell just for extra adhesive. And then I'm gonna tap it to make sure it's sticky and then I'm gonna stick it on my face. After I get all the seashells stuck on my face, I'm taking some Ben 9 Nose and Scar Wax, making a little worm, and I'm gluing the worm on with the same spirit gum method I used for the seashells. And once it's tacky, I stick the, uh, the wax on and I'm blending it out into my skin with a smooth tool. and then I'm poking at the ends to make sure they're not super clean. Then I'm sealing the whole thing with latex just so it doesn't move around too much. Then I'm powdering the whole thing with the same powder I use on my eyes just to get rid of that shine. Next I'm taking my Skin Illustrators Alcohol Activated Palette and I'm taking the black color and I'm outlining, well not outlining, I'm emphasizing the space between the shell and the wax just for some depth. 
Now I'm taking the Ben Nye character wheel in the red shade and I'm adding that on the tops of the wax for some irritation. Then I'm taking this blue color on the same wheel and I'm kind of just putting that wherever I want to. Next I'm taking the aged blood in the same palette and I'm kind I'm putting that over the irritation color that I did earlier, just to give it like a bloodier effect. Next I'm taking the yellow and pale shade, I don't know what they're called, but I put them on my lips to pale them out. And my lips were real chapped, so this hurt a lot. <laughs> Next I'm taking a contour brush and some brown zombie dirt. And I tried to contour my face, but I don't really like how this turned out, so I wish I either didn't do it, or actually used, like, proper contour tools. <laughs> Next, I'm taking the black zombie dirt, and I'm just, I'm basically putting in the bag that I took away earlier. Next, I'm taking the blue and the black shade and I'm making veins now I'm making I'm putting I'm putting the veins all all around the shells and then you'll see I put them coming out from my eyes my nose and the corners of my mouth and while I was doing this if you notice the shell on my neck I'm I oh this bothers me so much the shell on my neck the top edge of the wax is kind of like peeling up Oh, and I know, I know I could have blended that out some more, but I didn't, and it really bothered me. And you probably didn't notice it until I pointed it out, but I just want to point out that it really bothers me. <laughs> now to make the veins, I used a really tiny brush and a light hand so they weren't too thick, and then as you can see, um, I tapped the veins with my finger so they weren't so opaque. Next, I'm taking black zombie blood. I couldn't talk there for a second. And I poured it very slowly into the cap. And I'm putting it in the creases where I put the black earlier. And I wish I added drips or something because this is too prominent for me. I didn't like how it looked in the end. But then I put the black blood in my nose to add, you know, to the face planted effect. Because your nose would be bleeding a little bit. And then after I did that, I was done. So me and my dad are at Tim Hortons right now getting me food because I haven't eaten at all today. So it's cold and rainy outside and we're going to a beach. So we're going to see how it works. Oh, are you serious? I can't tell it's square. Oh, <laughs> <laughs>